Hello dear learners, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to embark on an essential journey for any Java developer. That is setting up Hibernate, configuring it so that you can create your Hibernate programs. Hibernate is a powerful ORM framework that simplifies database interactions in your Java projects. I'll guide you through the process step by step of how to configure your Eclipse project using Maven so that you can write a complete Hibernate program. So let's get started. Even before we could start the configuration of Hibernate with Maven in Eclipse, we need to understand certain prerequisites. That is, you have to make sure that Eclipse IDE is installed in your machine. I have 2018-09 version of Eclipse installed in my machine. You can have a latest version as well. For the second prerequisite, we need to have JDK installed. In my case, I am using Java 8 for Eclipse installation. And you need to have Maven configured in your Eclipse. Okay, this is a plugin called as Maven Java EE integration for Eclipse WT aka M2E WTP. This is the plugin that you need to install in Eclipse. In case if you face any issues, you can write down in the comment section and ask me questions regarding it and I'll guide you how to do it. Also, I feel that one should have basic understanding of Java for the whole Hibernate itself you know, to have an understanding of Hibernate. So once these prerequisites are done, we can go ahead with configuring Hibernate in Maven and using Eclipse as the ID. So let's go ahead with the next step. The next step is we need to open Eclipse and we need to set up our own new workspace. In my case, I am going to use the Hibernate WS workspace. So let's quickly switch to Eclipse and start up this workspace. So I'll go to Eclipse and I'll start my Hibernate WS workspace. So my Eclipse has started here. Okay. And in my Eclipse, I have this new workspace started and I am going to create a new project here. So let's switch back to a presentation and see what the next step is. So the next step is you go to file, new, other, then select maven. In that you select maven project and click next. Then you choose the default workspace location and click next. In the next screen you select maven archetype quick start and you click next. And finally, you enter your group ID, artifact ID for your project and click finish. Group ID is usually the package names and artifact ID is usually the project name. In case if you have any confusion in what group ID and artifact ID is. So if you have made any normal Java project, you would know that you have packages. So the way you give package names, that is group ID and the way you give project name in Eclipse, that is artifact ID. So let's quickly perform these steps and see how it works. So we again switch back to Eclipse and we say file new. In my case, you can see there's already Maven project. So if you already have, you can take it from here. Otherwise, you can go to other. You can go to Maven section and say Maven project. Then say next. Then here you need to select this use default workspace location. In my case, it's already selected. Then you say next and in the archetype you select this maven archetype quick start because we are creating a simple java project. So we can take maven archetype quick start then say next as I said you need to mention the group id and the artifact id wherein the group id can be your package name. So in my case it is com.learning and here I am going to name this project or the artifact id as maven example okay and I'll say finish. So here you will see I have a project created. So our next step is also done. Let's go back to a presentation and see what is the next step. So the next step is in configure the dependencies. So we open the form.xml in our project and then add the dependencies for Hibernate that is 
we add uh, hibernate dependencies that is the hibernate core dependencies the database driver that is in my case i am going to use mysql database so i'll be adding the dependencies for mysql database and the java 8 compatibility dependencies if there are any needed one more additional dependency that you would need is going to be for the jta okay because without that jta dependency at runtime your project might throw an error so it is always good to have that dependency in your pom.xml your dependencies would look something like this so you would have the first one for hibernate that is org.hibernate hibernate core and 5.05 final because i am using hibernate 5 here with my java 8 okay and the maven that i am using is maven 4 okay then the dependency for JTA, so for that the group ID is Java X dot transaction, artifact ID is JTA, version is 1.1 and the last dependency is the MySQL dependency. So, I am saying it is group ID is MySQL, the artifact ID is MySQL connector Java and the version that I am using is 8.0.27. This is my MySQL version. So, that is why I am using that dependency. If you have any confusion regarding which version of hibernate is compatible with which version of java which version of uh, you know maven you can see i have made a little youtube short on this compatibility which version of hibernate is compatible with which version of uh, maven and java so you can see that whole compatibility matrix there so that it will become very clear to you of which version to use with which version of java and which version of maven so that is when you will never have any exceptions when it comes to in adding these dependencies because that is a confusion that I always see in my participants and my learners that they don't understand which version of Java will work with which version of Hibernate and which version of Maven. So you can refer to that particular YouTube short and uh, get that clarified. Okay. So let's go and quickly add these dependencies there and save. So, we come back to Eclipse, you can see here in this Eclipse project, you already have pom.xml here. So, we open that pom.xml and there is already one dependency of JUnit. So, we will just let that dependency be and add the other three dependencies here as I had discussed. This is the Hibernate dependency, this is the JTA dependency and this is the MySQL dependency. Now, Usually it happens with me that in my uh, Maven projects, my JRE version usually goes to 1.5. So what you can do is you can just right click this, go to properties and chain this to your default JDK 8 dependency and say apply and close because then it gives you a version error if you do not correct this. Also, the moment you add this and save this, usually the Maven dependencies come here in case if they don't. What you can do is you can right click on your project, go to Maven section and say update project. The moment you say update project, you will see all the dependencies will populate here. Whatever is needed and whatever that you have added here, they will populate here. And again, you know, this is one issue that I keep facing over and over again. So, you can just again go to properties and set it to, uh, you know, your JDK 8 and say apply and close. So, that is how uh, the basic maven configuration is done for hibernate dependencies and how to add those dependencies and how to create this uh, basic project okay next after this the next step is wherein you add the hibernate config file the hibernate.cfg.xml file so in our upcoming video, in our next video, we will be demystifying this hibernate config file wherein I will explain you what are the basic minimum tags that you need for a hibernate program to work and I will explain you the importance of each and every tag that is being used there in that hibernate config file, why we are using it, why it is needed. So, don't miss on the next video wherein we will be demystifying this whole config file because we use this CFG file a lot of times, but we don't understand the significance of the tags which are there. So, I'll be talking about each and every tag here and I'll explain here in detail what is the meaning of each and every tag. So, don't miss the next video. Also, if you like my videos, please click on the like button, share it with your friends, family.
and others and please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed my intention is to have maximum knowledge sharing to all those who need this knowledge so please help me in that and that is it for today bye bye have a nice day ahead